Welcome back to Post It. Just before I start the video, I want to thank everyone who's been commenting and liking on my recent Post It videos. Except this one, um, uh, this. Uh, the phantom dislike of doom. So it's been a lot of fun doing all the posts that they've been very well received and I'm gonna try and keep pushing on and doing one every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you're a young filmmaker and you study a media related course in school, it can often be hard to find the time or motivation to create things outside that educational setting. And I find that a great motivator for making films outside of school is film competitions. These are excellent if you challenge yourself to complete a film by the deadline for that contest. The great thing is even if you don't win anything at the festival, you've got another item that can be used for portfolio, for show reel, and it means you're always flexing the creative muscle. So today I want to give you a list of five free film festivals which you can enter if you're a young filmmaker and set as a target for your next project. So starting local with number one, the Cinemagic Young Filmmaker Competition. The Cinemagic Festival as a whole runs from October to November, but submissions for the Young Filmmaker Competition are in August. They have two categories, a 12 year old to 16 year old category and a 16 year old to 25 year old category. And there are no restrictions other than your film has to be under 10 minutes. While the competition is based in Belfast, you are allowed to submit even if you're in the UK and Ireland. I think about 15 films are selected in each category and the showcase happens in the Queen's Film Theatre sometime around October. After the showcase they announce the best film and I believe each winner receives digital filmmaking prizes unspecified on the website. I've been submitting to Cinemagic for three years now and this year I'm hoping to have some success. I was actually shortlisted for it in 2016 with my short film Dirty Money. Dirty Money? It's Dirty Money, not Dirty Money. And so I got to go to the Queen's Film Theatre for this amazing showcase. Amazing films on display. There was a wide range in the films though. Some films had even got BFI film funding and the winner in fact in my section had been funded himself. It can be annoying to think as a zero budget young filmmaker you're competing against people who have thousands of pounds behind them. But in a sense it doesn't have to come down to the money. You can still make an amazing story on a small budget. That being said, I wouldn't mind a budget myself, but uh, they do get a good couple of hundred entries, so it can be quite tricky to get in. But this is a pretty big local festival, completely free to submit to, and well worth a shot. The second free film competition you can enter is My Road Reel. Now, this is an international festival run by Road Microphones, an Australian company. However, I believe you can submit from anywhere in the world. Submissions open in June, so again, this one has passed for the year and the winners are announced in July, with the deadline being in somewhere in August. Now, Road Reel are quite specific about what they require to enter the festival. Your film has to be under three minutes, and it must be accompanied by a behind the scenes video. Also required to enter is that you need to use a piece of road gear. This can be anything from their most expensive microphone to their cheapest extension cable. As long as you show this in the behind the scenes video, they'll accept your entry. The competition is completely run online, so there's no formal event, but there is a hugely intense countdown to the announcement of the results. They have all sorts of categories, including different different regions, different technical prizes for things like cinematography, sound design, best acting. They have genre winners for action, horror, comedy, romance. And then they have the major winners, the best film, the judges prize, the people's choice film, the best female filmmaker, and of course, the best young filmmaker. The prize list for winning any of these categories is insane. If you win, you get shipped so much road gear, it's, it's unbelievable. Again, I've been submitting to Road Reel for about three years. The only year I've had success was again 2016 with Dirty Money. With it, I was finalisted for the Young Film a prize and for that I received their smartphone vlogging microphone the road video mic me unfortunately this was meant for iPhone so was not compatible with my Android phone however you don't have to win to get a lot out of the competition the three minute restriction helps you really develop a style of micro film a very tightly told story that conveys a single message to the audience. Being a sound company, they're really promoting the importance of sound in film, which I think is always really important for all the people who overlook it so often. The behind the scenes video forces you to examine your own technical, technical, technical ability and are excellent resources for learning about the techniques that other people have used in their films. As well as this, just for entering, you can get a free road reel t-shirt. These are my favorite bits of clothing right now. Excellent for showing off that you're truly a filmmaker. And I'm very excited for my one to come this year. But as well as this, because the whole competition is just such great promotion for Rode and they must make millions off the people who are then buying their gear, it means they're able to give a whole lot of freebies away. I wasn't shortlisted for any awards in this year's Road Reel. But from this year alone, simply by looking out for the special offers Road were doing, I got one free Road video micro for entering a film in the first 100 entries. I got a second Road video micro for entering in the first 100 entries of the vlog category. And not only did I get their Video Mic Pro Plus, I got a second Road video mic Pro Plus because this one took ages to arrive. So just by paying close attention to Rode's offers and playing your cards right, you can walk away with a lot of gear without having to win anything. The third free film competition for young filmmakers to enter is the Interfilm Film of the Month competition. This is a UK-wide online competition and it's a constantly rolling deadline so you can submit it any time. Each month they'll select the top film from their list of selections and a couple of runners-up and post them on their website and YouTube channel. The advantage of the rolling deadline is that they're going to receive fewer films per month instead of having them all at once at a set time in the year, which means you might have more 
chance of winning. Films can be of any single genre but must remain under 10 minutes. Now this is one I can say I have won. Last year my film The Letter was into Films Film of the Month. For this I received a DVD and an £100 Amazon gift voucher, which is very generous I thought. The smart thing to do would have been to immediately budget that towards another film, but, uh, but I wasn't thinking as straight back then. And Into Film of the Month is a great gateway to lead you on to Film Festival number 4, the Interfilm Awards. Again, this is UK wide and it's Interfilm's main contest event of the year. In terms of young filmmaker categories, you can submit to 11 or under, 12 to 15 or 16 to 19. And there's also a special category for documentary or social change. Entries for this are currently open. The deadline is 14th of December 2018. So this could be a great one to start on your target goal to make a film before the submission deadline. These of course are submissions for the Interfilm Awards 2019. So the event itself will be happening in January or February of 2019 at BFI South Bank. Although this would be amazing to go to, I've never been myself. After Letter 1 Film of the Month in September, they suggested I enter it into the Interfilm Awards, but I had no luck. Interfilm is a huge company and I'm sure there is extremely high demand for this festival. So while it's probably quite hard to do extremely well in, it's one that you can get started making a film for right now. And the fifth and final free film festival on this list is the Media Magazine Competition. This was one I heard about at the BFI Film Academy. Again, UK wide and open to a number of categories, music videos, openings and trailers, documentary and short film. A lot of competitions allow you to have multiple entries but this restricts you to one. Submissions were open in April June time and the event was in July. Shortlisted films are announced in each category and then comes the main event again happening at BFI South Bank. The awards are trophies and certificates but probably also some filmmaking prizes. And there's again a number of categories including one for each genre so music video, documentary, short film and technical prizes, cinematography, editing as well as a special award for creativity. This is again well worth the submission. I submitted to it this year with the music video I made for Red House in fact, but again no luck. So there's a list of five free film festivals to get you started. Please comment down below what you thought of this video, if you've been entering to these sort of competitions before, which ones you think you might try out in the future. The most rewarding thing about making these videos is seeing some engagement from the comments below. If this video is well received, I'll certainly make another video with some different festivals. At the moment though, they're the main five I've actually had some experience with. So thank you very much for watching this post-it and I'll see you in the next one.